that was in the California League that is partially owned by the Mariners. They are now low Class A instead of advanced Class A. And then they play a bunch of the same teams that used to always be in the California League, but it's just going to have a different name instead. They should just call it the California League, but apparently they're not doing that. So here's Kelnick. 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fly out to right. And the pitch from Nick Ramirez is taken low for a ball, 1-0. Kaldick's a left-hand hitter, and he has uh, faced nothing but left-handed pitchers in his AAA debut. The starter, Daniel Camarena, got him out twice, and now here's Nick Ramirez. It's a breaking ball up and in, two and down. First time up, Kaldick swung at the first pitch and grounded out to third. And then his second time up, he got ahead in the count, two and oh, and pulled a ball to right, but it was a routine fly out to Kivlihan. And now... He's ahead in the count again. Two balls, no strikes. Good hitter's count right here. Kalnick looking for his first triple-A hit. Has a little bit of a crouch at the plate, and the 2-0 is a breaking ball outside. Ball three. Kalnick, a product of the state of Wisconsin. I think the town's pronounced Waukesha. I need to check with my friend from Wisconsin. Make sure that's right. Here's a drive to right. This is it. Well, it's deep. It's back, and it is gone. A line drive home run to right field off the bat of Jared Kelnick just turning on the 3-0 pitch and drilling it, just roping it over the low wall in right field. And Kelnick gives the right ears a 1-0 lead. That's their first run of the season, their first homer of the season, their first lead of the season, and Kelnick is fired up as he heads into the dugout and exchanges high fives with all his teammates. Kelnick had the green light on the 3-0 count, and he just roped it to right. Reinheimer at first, one away in the bottom of the seventh inning. We have so many uh, areas here when there are no you know, pre-COVID, there's so many areas that are standing room only. We've got the berm where you can pack people on there. Uh, you know, the decks, the various party, party decks can hold different amounts of people. Depends on how many you want to get in there. And then there's the whole uh, bar area, the R, R bar up uh, down the third baseline. I don't know what the actual official capacity of the stadium is because the crowds would always change as here's a strike into Kelnick. There was no official sellout number. So anyway, the attendance today, 2,581. The limit is 50% of somewhere around, I guess, 7,000. Here's one down and into Kelnick. Two balls, one strike. Probably less than 7,000. One and one to Kelnick. And this pitch is a swing and a drive to right, and he has done it again. His second home run of the game, and this one lands well out of here to right field towards the hill, headed up towards the tennis courts. Jared Kelnick with his second home run of the game, and the right ears have tied it up two to two. He's been the sole source of offense today. Kelnick in his AAA debut has gone deep twice. That one landed on the Foss High School Hill. <laughs> Kelnick. Two home runs in the AAA debut. How about that? Bishop. Fouls one off down the first baseline. That's